Blessings and greetings to you, people of God. It's a wonderful day. I'm so glad God allowed us to live to see a brand new day. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. Glory to God. In Luke chapter 15, Jesus is talking to the people. And it says that the publicans and the sinners drew near unto him. And the Pharisees and the scribes, some holy folk, they began to murmur and they began to talk about Jesus. They said, this man receiveth sinners and he's eating with them. So Jesus spoke a parable that says in Luke 15 and four, it says, what man of you having a hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, doth not leave the 99 in the wilderness and go after that which is lost until he find it. Jesus really calls them to think compassionately. Sometimes when we see a person's sins, we see them through eyes of judgment. But Jesus sees lost sheep that he has come to find and restore. There was a popular saying back in the day and the acronym was WWJD. What would Jesus do? But today I say to you, when you see a person visibly marked by their own sin, say to yourself, what does Jesus see? Sometimes the world shows a whole lot more compassion than the church. But the love of Jesus, the love that he exemplified, the love that he showed, Cause the publicans and the sinners to draw near unto him because they wanted to hear what he had to say. They say people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. When I prepare a message to preach or to teach, I often seek out the word through the interlinear Bible so that I can uh, uh, see the direct translation from Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek into English because I want to, to rightly divide the word. I want to give it just as it was meant to be given. And, and I want to say all the right words. I want to give a good presentation and I want to say what Jesus says. But do I love like Jesus loves? Jesus says, by this will all men know that ye are my disciples if ye have love one for another. Love is a sign. For all of you out there that's looking for a sign, love is the sign. And, and disciples do what their teacher does, don't they? If you are a disciple of Jesus Christ, then you ought to love like Christ. Jesus said, what man having an hundred sheep if he will not leave the 90 and nine in the wilderness and go and find the one. One sheep gets the shepherd's full attention. His whole focus is on restoring that one. Jesus loves each and every one of you, but all of you that dwell with Jesus dwell in safety. But when one leaves the safety zone, then he needs to be sought out and restored. So the good shepherd will leave those 99 and go out and find the one and bring him back to safety. When sheep stick together, it is hard for predators to spot out and target the weak. Isolation is a welcome for predators. So what we ought to do is to stay connected to our sisters and brothers in Christ so that we may cover each other. The Bible says, and when that shepherd has found that one, he lays it on his shoulders rejoicing he calls his friends and his neighbors to come and rejoice with him. Jesus said, likewise, joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repents more than the 99 just persons that need no repentance.
Jesus said in John 10, I am the good shepherd. My sheep know my voice and a stranger he will not follow. He says, I know my sheep and am known of mine. He said, I lay down my life for the sheep. There is nothing that can keep the shepherd away from the sheep. There is no limit to how far he will go to restore his sheep. He seeks that which is lost.